A victory today gives the Tennessee Titans their 12th win of the season. That 12th victory means the Titans are the number one seed in the AFC playoffs. What's passion? What's pain? What's the game? 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 Winning 12 games is sweet, but being the AFC's top seed is even sweeter. Hear from General Manager John Robinson on how the Titans are getting ready for the big dance. A surprise guest for this week's Nissan Insider will have you jonesing for more. Plus, as good as Jeffrey Simmons is as a football player, he's even better on the mic. Your Titans have the only first round bye in the AFC as the postseason begins. Get your popcorn ready. Titans All Access gets you primed for the playoffs. The monster, Derrick Henry. Sack! Rashad Evans, A.J. Brown to the house. Brian Tannehill taking him to school. Welcome to the BetMGM studio and the first postseason edition of Titans All Access. Her name is Amy Wells. I'm Mike Keith. And we are so glad to be working deeper into January. Oh, my gosh. There's nothing like January football and being a part of it. Oh, so sweet. Except not a part of it this weekend. Taking a nap while other people are a part of January football, and then we'll catch him in the next week. In the divisional round, the Titans get a bye after beating Houston 28 to 25. But I think you already know the theme. The star of the 28 25 win in Houston was not an offensive or a defensive player, not a special teams player, the Titans fans. Holy smokes, Titans fans showed up in Houston in such a big way. It felt like a Titans home game over on that sideline. It was crazy. They were loud. They were fired up. They were into it. Mike, it was an incredible atmosphere. And Titans fans, if you bring that kind of energy to Nissan Stadium next weekend, uh, Titans are going to be very hard to beat in the divisional round, either Saturday or Sunday, January 22nd or 23rd. Enjoyed meeting a lot of Titans fans on our flight home, actually, on Sunday night. <laughs> Absolutely, our entire flight was full of Titans fans. It looked like a charter plane. It was crazy. Outstanding effort. When Titans All Access continues, it's time for our Nissan Insider. Who, who is it? That's a surprise. It's a surprise Nissan the Insider? The surprise Nissan Insider coming up next, but... Before that, we go beneath the surface, and it's not a surprise. It's the hookups from Houston. Ryan Tannehill to NWI. I don't know how I feel about surprises on this show. You're getting <laughs> one, whether you like it or not. This is Coach Mack. We're going beneath the surface, powered by Microsoft Surface. First play we're going to look at here is so you're going to watch Tannehill make a beautiful deep shot to Nick Westbrook Aquina for 29 yards. We get a little yo-yo motion to be able to identify the coverage. You see the mug linebacker. He's mugged up into the line of scrimmage. He drops. Now we've got a split safety look, and you can watch a linebacker try to carry the vertical route of Nick Westbrook Aquina. But this throw has to be thrown on a dime because you know it's going to be a huge collision combat catch. Both of these things happen. This is a beautiful play for 29 yards in the first quarter for the Titans. Next play we're looking at is third and six from the Houston 30. This is going to be another deep middle shot, but this time it's going to go to the tight end, Anthony Ferkser, for 26 yards. Both linebackers are mugged up into the line of scrimmage, but they drop out. This is a classic Tampa 2 look with a four-man rush. Clean pocket again, which you've got to have for these down the railroad track shots. Excellent read by Tannehill, and then excellent, excellent concentration by Ferkser down the middle of the field. The next play we're looking at, a double in route. This is a double in route with a crosser concept. Tannehill has got great protection, dials in Julio Jones, very, very alert veteran moves, finds the open spot in the back of this low red zone defense. Touchdown Titans, Julio Jones, 
Big day for the Titans passing game. First touchdown as a Titan. Titans win. Titans are now the number one seed in the AFC playoff race. Welcome back to Titans All Access. I have shifted to St. Thomas Sports Park, and as I told Amy, a surprise guest, it's Julio Jones. One nation, one love, one love, one purpose, sent from above. Julio Jones, how are you? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. It's nice to have a week off and just sort of be able to breathe, right? Absolutely. Um, recover. Just, you know, your mind is not wondering. I mean, just take it all in. It's a good time to relax. The weather's broke here a little bit. You know, we had snow, <laughs> rain, all kind of crazy things that I'm not accustomed to, you know, coming from Atlanta, things like that. But um, it's just amazing just to have a break here. What does a bye week mean to a veteran like you in terms of how you handle it from a physical and a mental perspective? Um, for me, like I said, don't let my mind wander. I'm not pressing at all. Um, just resting up, doing all the things I need to do, getting body work, things like that, and just being ready to go when it's time to go. Julio Jones has worked so hard in this season battling back from that hamstring. You have fought and fought and fought to get back. What's been the hardest part? The hardest part is just not being able to be out there with your teammates, with your brothers. You know, um, they go into battle and you want to go out there and, and battle with them. And when you have to stand on the sideline and watch them home, I think that's the most difficult thing for myself to endure. It hurts, it hurts, you know. Um, I love the game of football. I wake up, I live, breathe football, like, and that's why I really do it, because I love it. You had a super game against Houston on Sunday, and I thought one of the most special moments is when you caught the touchdown pass at such a key moment in the ball game, I could not get over the way your teammates were excited for you, which said to me, they know how hard you fought to get back to this point. Um, absolutely. Like I said, and that's why I like to go out there and you know leave it out all, all on the field for my teammates. It's a war, it's a battle, it's whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to put on it. They got my back, I got their back. You lean on me, I'm gonna lean on you. Big motto around here, just trust the guy next to you. Respect the guy next to you, because that guy next to you gonna respect you. And those guys were very excited about, you know, me getting in the end zone, getting in the paint. It was a good moment. This is why you wanted to be here. This moment right now, the playoffs, a chance to win a Super Bowl. So whatever has happened, that's now over, right? Absolutely. Um, like we were just talking, you know, 12 and 5, you know, all that stuff is out the window at this point. Focus on one game, win one game. Have everything situated to go and take advantage of this bye week. You know, everybody take advantage of this bye week, whether it's rest, recovery, you know, studying, different things like that, and just self-evaluation. And that's one of the things, man, just being a pro, but also having brothers too here to like, hey, if you need somebody to talk to or communicate with, um, and myself being seasoned, being in these positions, and I've been in these positions before, you know, don't press, we're here for a reason. You're good enough. You don't need to be Superman, you don't need to be nothing else. You're good enough. Those words probably mean so much because you know, I mean, you've got the numbers. You've mm -hmm. got all the numbers right. in the world. You don't need any more numbers. Right. What this is about is rings and how you handle these moments as a football team in January. That's what gets you into February. Absolutely. Um, teams, you win in these games in the late now, postseason, it's all about team. It's no individuals and things like that. It's all about team, who has the best team. We have a hell of a team here. Was Sunday just a taste of what the Titans passing game can be in the postseason with AJ, Ferkser, Julio Jones, Westbrook Aquina, and, and the backs, on and on and on? We just gotta keep working. You know, like I said, I don't I don't even feel like, you know, I played my best game on Sunday because I scout myself and self-evaluate myself and hold myself at a higher standard. But most definitely it is. I feel like we have a lot of weapons here. We just got to go out there and put it together. Can you describe how much fun this is? For me, it's just like just being a kid, man, just getting what you want. You know, being a part of something. You just know, like for Christmas, you ask your parents for this or for that, and they get it for you. You know how excited you are. Um, it's like one of those moments. 
take a breath this weekend and on Monday get totally locked in for whomever is the opponent. Whomever. Yes. I'm ready to go. Julio Jones, thank you so much. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to head back over to the BetMGM studio and rejoin Amy Wells. John Robinson, Talking Ball, presented by Duncan, is next on Titans All Access. It's time for my favorite segment of the show, Talking Ball, presented by Duncan, with General Manager John Robinson. You get to be with us this week, Amy Wells. You know, the playoffs mean I get to be more involved. I'm really excited. There you go. All right, so let's bring in John Robinson, and let's talk some regular season stuff. The Titans used an NFL record 91 players this season. <laughs> that obviously sounds very complicated. But, John, when you talk about the specifics of how that works for a team, for the football staff, for the coaching staff, for everybody, how do you make that work? What are the complicated parts of using 91 guys? Yeah, I think, you know, Mike, certainly when, you know, when you go into the game each and every week, you, you, you know, you're not counting on injuries. You think they're going to happen, but you have to be ready to, to react to, to what happens in the game and guys that get nicked up here or there, you know, certainly dealing with COVID still with COVID replacements and how all that stuff goes. But you know, I think it's a testament to our personnel staff, our pro staff having evaluated, talk through players that may, you know, that might could come in and help us. And then the coaching staff, you know, those guys being adaptive, spending extra time with these guys, getting them ready on a week in and week out basis. And our teammates, you know, their teammates accepting them and trying to help them go out and try to help us on game week. John, the Titans defense improved dramatically. Let me throw some numbers at you. Nearly 70 less yards and a touchdown less per game than in 2020. 23 more sacks. Third down defense was 15% better. What made all of that happen? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we certainly turned that side of the ball over uh, this, you know, this past off season. But, you know, I think the biggest thing is probably the communication, Amy. Those guys, week in and week out at, at practice, you know, the, the call comes in and the formation changes and, you know, they're in this offensively and then they shift their motion to that. And, and those guys are talking, they're communicating, they're getting on the same page with whatever check may be. Uh, in place, you know, the games, the pass rush games up front, being on the same page there. Just a great job by the coaches to continue to stress, you know, the importance of the communication piece on defense and then the players executing it in practice and then carrying it over to the games. John Deontay Foreman and Dontrell Hilliard combined to rush for over 900 yards and catch 28 passes in the last nine games. They were so effective. What made that duo work so well at the running back spot down the stretch? I mean, skill set wise, you can see it when you watch them play. It's a different skill set that they both have. Both catch the ball really well. You know, Foreman's a little bigger back. He's a little more downhill power guy. Dontrell's got some shiftiness, a little bit of cut and slash to his skill set. But I think the biggest thing was, you know, those guys were they were at home. They were working out. They didn't they didn't have a job. And you know, we gave them an opportunity. And like I said earlier, the, the teammates welcomed them and, and and got them on the same page with what we're about as an organization, as a football team. And those guys got a taste of success and 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 they seized the opportunity and they didn't want to let it go. You know, they kept working a week in and week out in the meeting room, on the practice fields, and their success showed on game days. What impressed you the most about Ryan Tannehill's season? He's such a you know commanding leader. He's done a great job from a leadership standpoint uh, on the offensive side of the football. It's really been a, a point of emphasis uh, down the stretch here to take care of the football. He's been ever mindful of that. He made some huge plays running the football. The San Francisco game comes to mind on the scramble where he got us down there to kick the game winner. So, you know, both as a runner, as a passer, as a leader, you know, he's really done a good job for us this season. So from a football standpoint, how do you spend this weekend when you're not playing? Yeah, well, it'd be a good, great chance for our players to, to get some rest. We've gotten some work in this week uh, with the downtime, some conditioning, a little bit of stuff on the field. Let guys get healthy. You know, that's the big thing about this that has been about this bye week is, is getting guys healthy so that, we, you know, hopefully we're 100%. But, you know, we're looking forward to getting back at it and making a run at this thing in the playoffs. Talking ball with John Robinson, the Titans general manager, presented by Duncan. And you guys are going to need some Duncan over the next couple weeks. But that's a good thing. You can always sleep at the end of February, right? More coffee, less donuts, Mike, for me. There you go. <laughs> Thanks, John. Tighten up. See you guys. All right. When Titans All Access comes back, a special treat. Wired for sound, Big Jeff. Ooh, yes. I'm excited. <laughs> See what he looked like in the Miami game, talking it up as he went through the line time and time again. That's next on Titans All Access. 
Welcome back to Titans All Access. Jeffrey Simmons is coming off a fantastic regular season. A regular season where he did exactly what the Titans thought he would do when they selected him 19th overall in the 2019 NFL Draft. He repaid the confidence of John Robinson, Mike Vrabel, and Amy Adams Strunk with another fantastic season. And he loves football. I mean, he loves football. And we're going to show that to you. Check this out. Big Jeff Wired. Let's get it. Come on. Let's get it. Y'all know what this thing, man. Go win. Go take this. They think they're going to play with us, man. Let's go out and dominate, bro. Dominate on three. One, two, three. Let's go fast. Let's go. Set tone down yep. here. Like every game. Take over, yep. To the 10. To the 15. He's hit and taken down at the 17-yard line on an outstanding tackle. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, good play. Yes, sir. We're gonna stick with the inside game because the guard just sitting out. Like, we're gonna him up inside. He look like he heavier, yeah, he so he can't move. Yeah, here come the snow, man. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Playoff weather here. You ain't built for it, I know. That's all y'all gonna have to do. You're gonna have to double me. You're gonna have to double me. Play fake, Tucker by low, loses the ball. It's rolling free. The Titans are trying to get on it. Everybody's trying to get on it inside the 15. It's tight ball! I should have scooped that and scored. <laughs> We're gonna win! What your coach said, make sure y'all double 98. We know. Yeah, I know. I told you, I told you. Boy. By me without giving me a high five, we're gonna have some problems. High five, Brett. Good job, my man. Man, good job. Tug of Iloa fires down the middle, up in the air, and the ball is intercepted by the tight. Intercepted on a deflection by Long. You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. No, it should have been a sack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me see the stiff hair. I go, Jim. Hit some, Jim. <laughs> Woodside heads to Hilliard. He's got room. 30, 20, 10, go down. 5, go down, yeah. one. So. Yeah. Oh. 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 Let's go, man. Let's go. Hey, I told y'all. Back to back kill, baby. When we come back to Titans All Access, I have a surprise of my own. For somebody who upstaged me with the original surprise, I now have a surprise. Wow, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. What is it? I'm not telling you, it's a surprise. Stick around. Surprises, when we return, it involves Mikey. I thought I was the host. Nope. Welcome back to Titans All Access. Now, there is no game for the Tennessee Titans this weekend, so there are no keys to victory. No. However, we still wanted to present you with something great. So we give to you the greatest hits of In the Booth with Mike Keith and Coach Mack. So we have put a camera in the booth and it captures you while you are doing the call. And these are some of our favorite moments presented to you by visitmyrtlebeach.com. It's gonna be great, Mike, you're gonna love it. Roll the tape. What a play by Tannehill. He was dead to rights. He was being slung to the ground by Martin. He was on his back. He got away. Mahomes with pressure. Landry sacked. Gonna throw it, fires right side. Intercepted, fired. 20, 10, five, end zone. Kevin Meyer, the AFC Defensive Player of the Month for October. Starts November with a bang. Touchdown, Titans. Play fake, Tannehill looking, firing right side. There's Brown. Brown at the 40, breaks the tackle, 30, 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Titans. There <laughs> is Arthur Wan. Play fake, Tannehill looking, throwing, catching, scoring, touchdown, Titans. The mayor of Murfreesboro. 
He'll get reelected after that. Titans need one play. Allen tried to sneak. He got nothing, or so it appears. They got it! They got it! They did it! They did it! Yes! yes! That was so good! Randy Bullock! And the Titans! With a treat at Lucas Oil Stadium. He was sacked! And the Titans defense rising to the occasion against the boy wonder today. Ryan Tannehill with the recognition. And then he hit the ignition to take it on into the end zone. How about these Titans? Yes! 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 The impossible yes. situation possible. So Jacksonville, check. <laughs> Buffalo, check. <laughs> Kansas City, check. Indianapolis in overtime, check. As the Titans on Monday Night Football in front of a packed house, get it done again. If you really enjoyed that like the rest of us, you're in luck. We have it every single week at TennesseeTitans.com and all the Titans social channels. It's presented by our friends at Farm Bureau Health Plans. Wasn't that nice, Mike? You done? No. We're yeah, done. done. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of Titans All Access. We're back next week to get you ready for the divisional round. Going to be a big one at Nissan Stadium. For Amy Wells, I'm Mike Keith. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.